Hello minions, Wheezy here, aka Skyler, or vice versa, Skyler, aka Wheezy, and uh, my basement flooded again, only this time worse. Um, this time, instead of just leaking through the window, this entire window actually exploded, broke out all of this glass, and uh, completely flooded the floor down here. We've uh, cleaned almost all of it up. Water actually shot. Let's see if I can get some perspective on this. From this window all the way to the computer desk. Now we've since, of course, moved it and, and cleaned it, but all over my computer, it shot from that window over to my desk. The entire floor was just water and dirt. Um, and luckily, Pip's uh, job, they loaned us, um, her school loaned us a, a big industrial uh, shampooer wet vac thing. And, uh, between that and her shampooer, we sucked all the water out and uh, we've got two dehumidifiers running around the clock to, uh, to dry it out. Um, we're obviously moving the couches to, to keep those areas drying. Um, we got this really cool, not being able to focus, spray stuff called uh, Benefect Decon 30 that's helping kill the, the mildew and, and the bacteria and stuff. So we'll see if we can get away with saving the carpet. I'm not holding my breath, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> now I mentioned spraying water all over my computer. Well, I just started testing it a little bit and uh, the uh, monitor, I wiped it down a little bit, but it's still got a lot of <laughs> muck water on it. Monitor's okay. Monitor survived. I wiped some of the dirty water and stuff off my computer. Focus there. Um, but uh, when I came home, the speakers were squelching extremely loud. And uh, so I shut everything off and unplugged everything. For my testing so far, um, I've got a power supply tester, so I ripped out my 650 watt power supply. Where are you? There we go. 650 watt power supply, and the neck, the minus five uh, voltage pin, minus five voltage on this thing, is fried. So the entire power supply is dead. Um, actually, if you guys are curious, I'll show you real quick. Uh, let me show you my junk or belly or whatever it's going to show you right now. And uh, show you how the tester thing works so you can see how dead it is. Um, actually, let's keep it unplugged until we've got it all hooked up. So basically you just take the, the main power supply uh, pins that, that plug into the main power supply on the motherboard. This also has an ATX power supply connector, but that's not what this checks. Um, you just plug it right in there. Boom shaka la cow. And then easy peasy, I plug the power supply in. This one actually doesn't have a power switch, so it just fires up. Boom. So we've got red, which indicates potential danger to the motherboard. When I saw this, um, because I unhooked it and tested it before I turned the computer back on, um, you see that, that means that powering this on on the motherboard can damage the motherboard. Um, so I was worried because obviously it's broken in this way that it had already fried the motherboard, but uh, that was not the case, so, so that's good gravy news. Ugh. But uh, yeah, let's pull that out. Get off of there. Ugh. So yeah, this power supply is dead. I had a spare uh, 400 and, what is this bad boy? 480 watt power supply laying around. Being a computer nerd as I am, I just have parts laying around. And this is a brand new, I've never even used this one, but it's only 480 watts. 
which I don't think is quite enough to run all the hardware on here. Um, but it's good enough for now to run the motherboard, so I plug this one in. I obviously tested it even though it's brand new, just to make sure, and it's good. And then uh, put put it in, and I just hooked up my first hard drive that has my Windows OS on it, which is my 250 gig drive, um, and my, my 4 gigs of RAM, which is not a ton. Um, fired it up, and it's good. Hi, Pip. She's got short red hair now. You are a lie. What What are you doing? Hey. Oh, nice. I gotta get to the kitchen. Well, sneak around me. I'm trying. Big O. Um. <laughs> ass. There we go. <laughs> so you can see we got a little bit of drippage in there. So I'm gonna have to clean these up a little bit. There's my one terabyte hard drive. My three terabyte was mostly protected because. The way I had it set up was in the top in the top slot here I had this 250 gig then directly underneath it was the 3 terabyte so it was shielded by this one which got a little dirty but obviously the drive's still good and then this one was down towards the bottom bay so it had some room and it got a little mucked up but uh, I'm hoping they'll be good because it again was on the cover side and not on the board side. So we're hoping for the best for those. I haven't tested them yet. What I'm not so much happy about, well, first I'll show you my FireWire card, which I have for that old camera. <laughs> I don't use this anymore. I probably won't even put it back in there, but uh, you can see because it mounts in there. This was at the very bottom, right? And it mounts in this side up. So the water got in there. This one looks like it's probably not too bad. I just clean off the dirt. The connections are probably pretty good. Um, but I don't even know if I'll bother putting it back in. The problem is Beastie here. I haven't tried him yet. It's my video card. Um, but he mounts in like this. And so we've got... Let's see if we can get some focus here. We've got this... Oh, oh, a little dirty, a little dirty. A little, a little dirty. A little focus problems. Oh, oh no. I think... And when I got home there was some... <laughs> the distinct smell of burnt electronics, but I think we've got some scorching here. I think we may have popped a solder joint. What? You... that Don't you be blaming me. But uh, I'm gonna plug it in. And give it. A, I'm gonna clean it up first. Plug it in. See what happens. But uh, that right there, I'm thinking this bad boy is probably uh, probably done for. But out of this whole thing, if all I lose is a power supply and a video card, then uh, you know we'll call that a win. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> gonna be a little out of action for a little while. Not that I'd really been in action as much on my videos and stuff that I've recorded and a couple that I have rendered that I just hadn't got around to uploading are on here so hopefully this bit bad boy is okay although he's been misbehaving on his own we'll see how he does after this so uh yeah I got all my crap up here in my living room so it's been a fun time I'm gonna hopefully be able to get this uploaded because since I know the motherboard's good and I've got the luckily I've got an onboard uh, video card on this one so I can that's how I was still able to check that it's working and booting up and everything because I just use the onboard video instead of my video card but uh, hopefully I'll be able to get this uploaded <laughs> and uh, maybe if I get that three terabyte back in there I can get a couple of videos I already have rendered and stuff in there but uh, I don't know when I'll get stuff hooked up back again downstairs uh, or a video card that's even capable of playing Minecraft, much less <laughs> anything else, but, uh, yeah, it's been a fun time. I will <laughs> talk to you guys later.